Hi there, folks. Welcome to Goat of Basket. The NBA is the ultimate dream for any kid who's ever held a basketball in their hands. All of us have dreamed of playing in this fantastic league and one day winning the championship ring. Every year, the 30 teams compete with each other to write their own page in NBA history and ultimately to be crowned champions and lift the Larry O'Brien Championship Trophy. Today, we're going to talk about some of the most exciting NBA Finals from the 2000s to today that have kept us on the edge of our seats and given us incredible emotions. Let's talk about one of the greatest historic rivalries in the NBA between the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers. These two franchises have a combined total of 53 NBA championships and have been home to some of the most iconic players like Bill Russell, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, and Kobe Bryant. Today, we're going to talk about the NBA Finals featuring the legendary Lakers of Kobe Bryant and the Celtics of Paul Pierce and company. The two teams made it to the finals as the top seed in their respective conferences, with the Lakers boasting talents like Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol, Lamar Odom, and Derek Fisher, and the Celtics featuring a star-studded roster including Rajon Rondo, Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, and Paul Pierce, all under the guidance of their respective head coaches Phil Jackson and Doc Rivers. The series was one of the most balanced and exciting in NBA history, with the Celtics taking the lead at Game 5. But the Mamba mentality was in full swing, and Kobe Bryant took charge in Game 6, hitting a crucial game-winning shot with 35 seconds left on the clock to tie the series at 3. 3. Game 7 was a thrilling back-and-forth battle. And if there's any player who was born for these kinds of games, it's Kobe Bryant. Even though he didn't put up his best numbers, he closed the game with 23 points. And with the help of his dear friend Pau Gasol, the Lakers went on to win the championship. Kobe was named the Finals MVP, and he went home with his fifth NBA championship. Starting from 2010, a new era began, with one of the most incredible athletes in NBA history taking the spotlight, LeBron James. Regardless of whether you're a fan or not, the numbers don't lie. LeBron has been a constant presence at the NBA Finals. In his pursuit of an NBA title, he joined the Miami Heat for his iconic decision, forming the Big Three with Wade and Bosh. In those years, the Heat made it to the finals every single time. In 2011, they lost to the experienced Mavericks, led by the incredible Dirk Nowitzki. The following year, they won easily against the Young Thunder. But the series we're going to talk about is the one where they faced the Spurs, coached by one of the greatest coaches of all time, Greg Popovich. The talent on the two teams was incredible. On one side, LBJ, Wade, and Bosch, and on the other, the Spurs franchise players Parker, Ginobili, and Duncan. Welcome to the NBA Finals of 2013, guys. Although the Spurs took an early lead, the series was one of the most tightly contested ever, with the Spurs missing match points and giving the Heat a chance to tie the series. And boy, did they take that chance. Ray Allen, a decent shooter, to put it mildly, hit one of the most iconic three-pointers of all time to lead the Heat to victory, tying the series at 3-3. Three. Three. It all came down to Game 7, ladies and gentlemen, and LeBron James was unstoppable, leading the Heat to the championship. He closed Game 7 with an incredible 37 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists. He was simply unstoppable, named the MVP of the Finals, and won his second NBA title with the Heat in just three years. Akron seems to be a city that produces basketball talents, and we all know whom I'm talking about. Along with LBJ, the city also gave birth to the guy who, under Kerr's guidance, revolutionized basketball in recent years by making three-pointers a formality, Steph Curry. Steph and his teammates, especially Thompson and Green, have definitely influenced the way the game is played today. They've won four championships, establishing themselves as one of the league's most feared teams. Golden State won their first championship ring against LeBron James, the hometown rival of Steph Curry. LeBron had returned to the Cavs with a promise of winning the team's first historic championship. It was 2016, and the Golden State champs seemed unstoppable that year, closing the season with an all-time record of 73 wins and only 9 losses. But they would meet the Cavs of LeBron James, Irving, and Kevin Love in the finals, the same team they defeated in the previous finals. The series started off in favor of the Spash brothers, with their incredible teamwork and reign of three-pointers giving them a three, one score. It seemed as though the Warriors were set to win their second title for the Bay. 
But Tyrone Liu's boys had other plans. James led the team, scoring 41 points and grabbing 16 rebounds in Game 5, and getting 27 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists in Game 6. The finale was an intense and fiercely fought match to the last second. Both teams were exhausted by the end of the game, with just a few seconds left. The score was tied at 89 when Andre Iguodala, Warriors veteran, went for a layup. But the chosen one wasn't having it. LeBron James ran the length of the court, took off, timed his jump, and with an incredible block that defied the laws of physics, deflected the ball. On the other side, Irving challenged Steph Curry, one-on-one, -on -one, with his usual elegance, and then made a step back from three. Nothing but net. The Cavs won the series four, three, clinching their first historic title. Cleveland, this one's for you. Wow, those guys really brought some of the most exciting finals in recent years. They had us on the edge of our seats and reminded us why this sport is so amazing. So who do you think will be the next NBA champion? Drop us a comment and let us know. If you enjoyed the video and want to uncover more juicy facts about the NBA and the world of basketball, please smash that like button and subscribe to Goat of Basketball. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the flip side.